In the previous video, we looked at solving uh, question 6a, part 1 and part 2. Uh, now we're going to be solving part 3, where we're asked to find the inverse function of f inverse of x. So let's just scroll up a bit. Uh, what I did here, I just copy, recopy the, the question. So just let's get into it. Okay. Now when asked to find the inverse of a function, since they have asked us to find f inverse of x, then it simply means then I'm going to look at the function f of x. Now let's write the function here. Let's say f of x is equal to 6x plus 8. Now if you look at the original function, this is the original function, 6 is multiplying x and 8 is being added to the x, okay? So I mean just by intuition, inverse means opposite. So when looking at this function, we know that our answer should be really, and I can just look at it and write down the answer and we're going to work it and we'll see. Or f inverse of x, which they're asking us to find here, must be uh, x minus 8 over 6, okay? And and what do I mean by that? Um, the 6 is multiplying the x, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So in the end, 6 must be dividing the x, and the 8 is being added to the x, so in the end, 8 must be subtracted. But you can't just look at the question and write down the answer. You must show your workings in the exam, or else you lose mark, okay? Don't want you to be losing marks now, guys. Now, let's look at it quickly. First, we're going to replace f of x with y. So let me just say step one, you're going to replace replace f of x with y okay with y so i'm saying y is equal to 6x plus 8 and then step two you're going to uh, interchange 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 x and y okay so if we're interchanging x and y here wherever i see x i'm going to put y and wherever i see y i'm going to put x so i'm going to say x is equal to 6y plus 8 okay now that's step two step three we are going to um make make y the subject okay make y the subject so simply we're just going to transpose for y so here i have x is equal to 6y plus 8 if you notice 8 is being added to y so really what i need to do i need to subtract 8 from both sides so here i'll have x minus 8 is equal to 6y plus 8 and I'm going to have to subtract 8 there so 8 will cancel out with 8 so really what I'm left with is x minus 8 x minus 8 and that is equal to 6y okay now if you look carefully uh, y 6 is multiplying y so to make so to make y the subject we must divide through by 6 so I go, I'm gonna have to divide both sides by 6 all right so 6 there and a 6 there so this 6 will cancel out with that 6 okay so really therefore let's let's come up here therefore my answer is um y not my answer but what i'm left with is y is equal to x minus 8 all upon 6 okay now we can't leave it like this because they asked us for f inverse of x so the last step which is step four okay let me use another color the last step which is step four we're going to replace 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 y with with and i'll put it here f inverse of x okay so i now need to move the y so therefore i need to move the y and i need to say and I need to say f inverse of x is equal to x minus 8 all upon 6. Okay, 
and that's our answer and it's 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 really that easy guys okay let me just pull this over a bit f inverse of x is equal to x minus 8 all over 6 and if you notice up top what we said we would get for our answer x minus 8 all over 6 and that's it bye bye